Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Mercer. I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a Bayliner 192 Discovery. She's a 2007 model and is everything that you would need as a perfect family starter boat to get out on the water. Now, why is that? Well, let me tell you. So, she's got the cuddy accommodation up at the front. If the kids are getting cold, if you want to get them out of the rain when the weather comes, or also on a beautiful day like today, if the sun just gets a little bit too much for you. Also, you can put her anywhere because she comes with a full trailer. You've got this full canvas enclosure, which is very bespoke. You don't see them fitted to these boats that often. Normally, it's just a bimini top. This one has been custom retrofitted. It gives you that all-weather, all-season durability. So what we've got at the back here is we've got this non-skid extended swim platform. You've also got a towing eye there if any of the kids want to go in the water and be towed on bananas, on inflatables, on donuts, that sort of thing. What we'll do is we'll jump inside and we'll take a little look at the layout. So a layout very, very similar to a Bayliner 175, 185 and also 195. Uh, the boat is very, very clean. I don't know if the camera picks that up. You can see the upholstery is in really good condition as well. So you've got this, which is effectively just insulation for the engine, but it also doubles as a stool if someone wants to sit up there. Molded cup holders on either side and then nice sort of deep bucket seats on either side with a grab rail also if you're going through any high speed maneuvers. Now I like this, they had this on the Bayliner 175 and you don't really see it on that many modern day boats but recessed into the side wells you do have netted or like cargo nets that give you plenty of storage up and down this side. You've also got another moulded cup holder in there and then a shelf here as well so if you want to put your phone wallet keys there certainly feel free to do so. It's got carpet so it's just a little bit more of an elevated fit and finish than just bare fibreglass which is what you get on a lot of modern day boats as well. This is textured as well so if it if you see it's like an open weave carbon fibre effect but it's blue not black. The composite table is removable. You can also on this side drop these down and they will form a sun lounger. We'll come onto that in just a minute. What we've got underneath our feet too is we can remove the table if we want and access in here storage locker one of two. And then this is my favourite one here. This storage locker has a little drain down at the bottom which you can see. That means that you can put ice into it, you can put cool water into it and then if you want to store beer, wine, soft drinks for the kids, bottles of water, whatever it is, you can keep it nice and fresh in there. It's tucked away from the engine so it isn't susceptible to any external heat. It is insulated quite well. That theme of, of netted storage, so you can put maps there if you want to do that. You've also got more storage nets on this side as well. We have an onboard stereo system. You can see one of the speakers is there, another one just tucked down by here at the helm position. So on the helm, we've got a non-glare dash, digital depth finder, and there are all of your gauges. Good visibility out onto the bow and access to the bow is just via one, two, three, open up the main front and you get the main sort of splitter in the windshield and you can get straight out onto the bow. The bow is covered in non-skid so it's designed to be walked on. You've also got an anchor with a little bit of chain and rope for the manual windlass up at the top. This is your home on a Saturday night when you're weekending on the boat. You can also remove these cushions here and what that'll do is that'll just form a seating area. There is also a portable head that is coming back from the owner and that will slot just in there. I'll show you what it looks like though when you take all the backrests up again and make it into a seating area. Perfect. So you've got a non-skid mat down there, loads of space for at least three or four people to get in. You've got the benefit of the skylight. It is all insulated with this carpet throughout it. The headlining is good as well. And you've got little cockpit lights. There's another one just further on down there at the very end. Now, if you do have people staying in there, what you can also do is let someone sleep out under the stars. You can drop this back. It's very, very simple to do so as well. All you need to do is lift that side up. We lift this side up. And that gives you another bed. Perfect. Now all of the canvas will come away, you can take it away segment by segment, you can remove the front, the back, and a lot of people would maybe just leave the bimini up. It is roasting hot in here today, but that is just the way we like it up here in Scotland, you don't get it that often. 
I think all there really is to do now, finally, is to show you the engine underneath there. There we go. The owner and engineer's favourite, the Mercury Mercruiser 3-litre, 135 horsepower petrol engine. Absolutely bulletproof, very easy to service, very easy to maintain, nice and clean example as well. Ladies and gents, there you go, a beautiful Bayliner 192 Discovery. An excellent chance to get on the water at a very affordable price. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland in the glorious sun here. We're fun in the water. Big ends.